Good day. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Minecraft Play. Uh, we pick up exactly where I left off a number of days ago, from my point of view, uh, on Fortress Quest. Nether Fortress Quest, which has been taking a little longer than I would say is typical. I haven't seen any signs of a fortress yet. Um, I'm just going to go grab which wood have I got? Lots of wood. Anyway, I want to make some pickaxes before we venture off. The bricks are happily cooking away. I've got a bunch of cobblestone for cobbling for building bridges across the uh, the wastes, the nether wastes as we might say and I don't know, a whole bunch of pickaxes. Hopefully that's enough to last for a while, and I'm good for food, okay. Sounds like there's some hogs, hoglins, piglins out there. Basically, my understanding of, which I'm not 100% clear why, but uh, I believe you want to go east and west, east or west, in order when you're seeking fortresses. Uh, I don't, I can't recall what the reasoning behind that is, but uh, I think it was another, I think it was a Minecraft wiki or something like that where I got that little tidbit of wisdom from, so... Generally speaking, it actually seems to work out, as far as I've been able to tell. It's a magma down at this level. Am I calling that the right word? Yeah, magma. Well, that didn't last very long, did it? Showed into some open spaces here. I'm seeing some red particle effects, which basically means that we are in a red, yeah, crimson forest biome up above us somewhere. good it means I'm not really needing to place any torches to see what I'm doing in the tunnel here. Wow, this is, uh, ah, finally. I was just about to bellyache about not finding the magma sea here. Well, that's interesting. Those, uh, or what those are called anyway. They seem to be hanging from the, the nether ceiling there. there. This business of building bridges across the lava sea is a bit tedious. You can do it up in the air, but well, I guess there's pros and cons either way. The, uh, that is weird. I certainly have done it up in the air more, but uh, I don't know. 
Either way, if you get knocked off, you're in trouble. So I don't know. I guess if you're knocked into the lava and you've got, you know, a cobblestone uh, walkway, you at least have a chance of getting out of the lava and possibly surviving. Especially if you have armor that is, uh, There's such a thing as heat resistant armor. I'm not quite sure what that's called though. Or I might just be I might just be hallucinating things. Misremembering about that. Oh, did I just about back into lava? Yes I did. Because I'm a genius. Hmm. That would have been a sh Alrighty. Well, I guess this much cobblestone maybe isn't going to go as far as I was hoping. However, we'll see how far it goes. Alright, at least this time I shouldn't be running a risk of backing into a falling... a lava fall. Interesting. Alrighty, here we are. Time to start digging once again. We punch out to the other side fairly quickly, and then we... Oops. Come on. This shouldn't be fatal. source block there, so I'm just getting this healed back up here. These pickaxes actually don't go quite as far as I had hoped either. Aha! Oh, whoops. <laughs> Those are called striders, those lava walking creatures. And we still haven't found that sort of volcanic biome that I was hoping to find. And looks like we might run out of cobblestone here before we see how it goes have any sparkling commentary to offer while I'm doing this. This is kind of mind-numbingly boring in a way. Well, maybe I'll just talk a little bit about the history of the nether biome in my experience of it. When, uh, in the early days of Minecraft, when the nether was introduced, there wasn't a whole lot to it. Basically, you had this 
the lava sea, you had the netherrack, and I don't, even, I don't remember if there were any other minerals, but I don't think there was any gold. I'm quite sure there wasn't any gold, but, but the crystals, I, I feel like the crystals was a thing. Uh, quartz, rather, the nether quartz. And uh, the glowstone. But I think that's about it. And, you know, there wasn't that much to do in the nether. It was just another sort of a hellish biome that you could explore, a giant one, I guess, and get a certain amount of resources from. Okay, I know I was building uh, bridges with... Uh, oh, did I see something in the distance there? Maybe not. Might have just been a... Might have just been an optical illusion. Um, I was building bridges, these these bridges with the netherrack before, but uh, I think I'm not going to do that because that can get shot out from underneath you by the fireballs of the ghasts. How about that? I looked up the name of those floating gas bags. They are called ghasts. I think that lava is what I caught a glimpse of. Well, this is kind of a uh, kind of a bummer. So we've got just a wee bit of warped forest there, it looks like butting up against some more crimson forest. And lava falls from way, 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 way up. Just about out of cobblestone. So I'll use this out, see if we can see anything from there. I can actually use out the, the cobble to deep slate I have, which isn't much. And maybe run back sprint back down the down the pathway but and go back to the overworld where I, where I can grab more cobblestone soul sand over there oh I was talking about the early days of the nether of course the zombie pigmen was a thing as well um, so you could get actually you could get uh, Fighting them was not a bad way to get experience, and um, I believe they dropped gold. I don't remember if they did that in the early days of the game or not. In the early days of the nether. Don't you dare push me into the lava, you big dope. Well, they do stride. They don't look very happy. And they make that sort of croaking noise. One last look around before we run back. Uh -huh. Well, I don't see any signs of a fortress. Darn it. Okay, here we go. Sprinting. Oh, there's hoglins up there. Several of them. I wonder if they'll jump down at me. Uh, they're probably too far away to see me to watch them leap into the lava ocean. I do need to pay attention to what I'm doing here. I think it would be pretty straightforward to uh, run right off the side of this narrow, narrow bridge. Fortress Quest continues after this break from our and word from our sponsor. Our sponsor being YouTube, who I'm, I don't know. I don't know. Did they place ads in non monetized videos? Honestly, I'd be a little shocked if they didn't. Don't know the answer to that, though. I'm not really watching my own videos uh, at all. Maybe uh, if you've noticed. 
noticed ads in one of my videos, maybe let me know. I'd be curious. If Google is, uh, I mean, I'm assuming they take that they place ads in people that don't qualify for monetization videos, but I, I don't know that for certain. food reserve here in the nether. It's not, it's not so far to go back to the overworld, but still. But still. Alrighty. Well, I can't even remember if I have. Typically, from uh, looking for iron and things, you build up quite a bit of cobblestone, but I think what I had there was everything I had built up from my non-video recorded looking around for iron in particular and gold as well. All right, well here I am raiding all of my uh, my stores of cobblestone, which is not something, unless you take on a building project, is not really something you use very much. Building projects, I guess, would be the main the main usage for stuff like that, and I, I guess in this case, building bridges across the lava ocean. Lava ocean or lava sea, that's the better term for that. Lava sea, I guess, is quicker to say. I don't know. Feels like a bit of a question. It's probably not that neat. I guess I don't know that either. Alrighty. Did I get off at the wrong level? Yes, I did. Oh, I didn't build myself anymore. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do that just in case we wind up doing some extensive tunneling. Oh, did we run out of lava? Great. Uh, let's see here. I want to make maybe three more of those. Did I only choose two? I said three and selected two. That's how I roll. Go refill the old lava bucket to char to power the furnace. Technically, you're supposed to get 100. Well, not technically. You get 128 um, units of fuel out of a lava bucket, but unless you're sitting there watching, ready to change over your materials, the reality is you get maybe just a little bit more than the than the 64, which is the maximum amount of, amount of stuff you can put in the hopper. Well, that's not. So that's the most you can have in the furnace uh, feeder. You can actually rig up a system. We're using hoppers and chests that will that will continue to feed the uh, the thing. So if you really want to do put put a production line together of say um, like what I'm doing here, turning netherrack into nether bricks, then uh, that's where you put together some a hopper and a chest and. Probably, I don't know if you can production line the fuel. I don't, I don't think so, but I could be wrong about that. That would be kind of slick if you could. I maybe you can. If you could, if you could production line the fuel with lava buckets or somehow, or, or I guess just coal or charcoal even, then you could. Uh, set it up and you could walk away for an extended time and come back to uh, all the nether bricks you ever wanted. I can 
see that my hunger level is increasing, or my, I guess to be more accurate, my food level is decreasing. Which amounts to the same thing. Alrighty, here we are. Still nothing. What a surprise. Alright, let's just have a little food. And put some cobble things down in there. And carry on. Fortress Quest, Bridging Across the Lava Sea, Part 7. feeling like an ocean. So there are other there are other things you can find in the nether and I'm I can't remember the proper names, but they're sort of these ancient ruins. They've got piglins and piglin military, I'm going to say, that are a lot tougher. You can find some netherite, I believe, typically in those ruins. And there's these big old structures to explore, which is kind of cool. Cool and interesting. Oh, here we are. There's a bit of the... I'm pretty sure that's a bit of the volcanic biome that I was talking about. explore that at some point in the not too distant future a little bit. That is where you will find the magma cubes monsters. I think they're called magma cubes. And uh, you can get magma cream drops from them now. I'm not actually sure what that's supposed to be, magma cream, but anyway, it's an ingredient for certain types of potions, I'm going to say. I think like there's a actually there's potions of fire resistance I believe so that would be a wise thing to have on you when you're traversing the, the lava sea hot tourist destinations oh because I've entered this biome so once you get to all the different biomes uh, in the nether, you get this achievement, which is, uh, which is, how can I see it? I'm not sure how I can see it anyway. Hot tourist destinations. Oh, there's some magma cubes over there. Yep, that is the biome. There's all kinds of pools of lava and things. You really have to watch out when you're traversing it. And those magma cubes will very happily bounce their way across the lava ocean and fight you. There's one coming a little too close right now, actually. It's probably going to start coming my way if I'm not careful. I could probably fight him, but I'm just out on this little narrow bridge, so I don't think I want to. spawned, I think, unless he was there and he just flared up and I saw it, saw him, it, it. That is a towering bit of biome over there. Good source of um, stone for building bridges. That looks like the Soul Sand Valley biome over there with the Salt pillars. Should I try and sneak by? He 
turned around and is coming back. Awesome. I wonder if I should just try to sneak by. Oh. Change my mind. Change my mind. Is he going to chase me? Yes, he is. Well, if I face him head on, I might be able to fight without... They, they splinter into smaller versions of themselves when you, uh, once you've hit them a few times, like so. You guys gonna come after me or not? You don't really want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these things, especially not in the situation I'm in, which is out on the little of course, they're less and less tough the smaller they are. Okay, well, that went all right. Yee. like we're into the so the other thing about the uh, well the I can't remember what the biome was called I guess since I'm in it I can find out it is called the basalt deltas maybe there's different types of basalt biomes I'm not sure anywho um, it has the white particulate white particle effects which are to me they, they they're reminiscent of uh, volcanic ash basically with the iron sword. I think so. Kind of pain. I only went into four. And I hear a gas. That's all I need. Oh, I picked up a magma cream. not having run into any ghasts out here to speak of. I mean, I've heard them. I've heard their cries a couple of times, but they must be far enough away that I mean, I haven't seen them yet. There's a thing that ghasts drop when you kill them. Uh, it's a tear of some kind. Maybe it's just called a ghast tear or something like that. It's also an ingredient for potions. Oh, skeleton. What the hell? You ass bastard, where? <sighs> Don't die out here. Don't die out here. Come on. Come on. I'm screwed if I die out here. Oh, thank goodness. He must have jumped down from... Uh, one of those floating islands there and shot me because I'm sure he disappeared into the lava there. That was close. That was close. Too close. Nobody, nobody else chasing me right now. Hmm.
seen any signs of the uh, of a fortress yet. Usually, or typically, in my experience, they're not that hard to find. But this is this is definitely going on. Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? Probably I should ascend instead of tunneling. Um, let's see here. That pillar doesn't directly connect to the upper level, does it? No. Maybe I should just build like a staircase. The little baby ones are no no real threat. I don't think they can even do the damage. Like a oh god, another one. <sighs> I don't want to be fighting you buggers. I don't want to be finding a fortress. The lava pools. We're just right between the two biomes here. Well, I guess if I put down some markers, maybe where right like so. I can try to traverse the lands. Jesus, don't walk into the lab. What is the matter with you? Oh, it's the soul sand thing again. I didn't actually walk into the lava. If you walk into soul sand adjacent to lava, you burn. I was not aware of that until this game. And this is not the first time I've done that, so... Is that an enderman? me to go through my food reserves like crazy. Uh, in the meanwhile, let me start traversing this terrain. Is it a skeleton? No, that's an enderman. Okay, anyhow.
going to leave some markers so that I can hopefully find my way back without any trouble. There's a skeleton over there. So that's lovely. One thing you're liable to do, doing what I'm doing right now, is dump lava on your head. Uh -huh. So, we have a... up here. Caution. 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 More than once I have uh, come to my, met my, met an untimely end by trying to move around this, this uh, biome. Oh, technically we're in a soul sand valley. Anyway, this uh, volcanic biome too quickly you build yourself some pathways and things, you, you're best off to be careful. Okay, Mr. Mr. Guy, they're too big to get into a, similar to a Enderman, they actually can't, they can't make into, I make it under a two by two, or a two high space. happening over here. Disappointing lack of fortresses. Okay, so that being the case, I think I will traverse a little more directly by
presumably. Okay. Kind of like logs, the bas the basalt or basalt has a, has a very, oh there you are, has an orientation to it and uh, when you lay it down it looks quite interesting. Take a screen cap of that. Tried to swim in lava to escape magma cube. And I have now I have no equipment. Super awesome. Well, Fortress Quest, uh, oh god, I also don't have any stone to speak of anymore. I guess I could use the diorite and such. What a pain. Classic nether exploration. This is uh, what do I need? Okay, I have enough iron to kit myself up again, which is definitely necessary. And I need wood. I'm going to need food. nice to have one piece of gold armor though for the nether. Um, do I have any? I do not. I've got bugger all for gold. I guess I have enough to make myself boots. Maybe I'll just try not to score off with any any piglins for now. Uh, I'm gonna need some sticks and I'm gonna need some cobblestone to make some Tools. Be back to using wood. Uh, oh, I don't have any sticks. Alrighty, so axe. That's probably not the most important thing for the nether. Uh, sword. I think I want an iron sword though. Shovel. Yeah, I need a shovel sword and a pickaxe. Do I need an iron pickaxe? For nether exploration? Probably not. I am going to have to go do some digging for resources here before I can venture back into the nether. Well, this is a... <laughs> this is going to be a pretty dull episode, I'm afraid. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll put in the description, warning, hardcore fans only. Unless you want to see the trials and tribulations of uh, exploring in the nether, which might be interesting, I guess. So what I should have done was when I saw that magma cube reasonably close to me, was backed away and fought him, fought it carefully. But I didn't, and so I got knocked into a lava pool, and that was that. At least I got bucket loads of potatoes to turn into uh, ample amounts of food these days. Whoops, that one wasn't mature. Alrighty, beets, carrots. I don't really care too much about those things right now. Should I harvest some wood? Mm -hmm. I don't think I managed to stockpile any fuel, did I? I don't think so. Probably I won't take down this whole 
giant tree at this time. Just enough to um, put some charcoal to cook so I can make torches. Maybe I will just take down this whole tree. Basically night time coming on here. Almost. All right, here we are at the top. So this part won't take long. taken two-thirds of the tree down by doing the old spiral staircase. So I should be able to get down to ground level and pick up all the logs and then run into my, my house, my house, my hoose to sleep. Although, actually I'm probably done running around for now. Well, I don't want to let those spruce saplings go to waste, so maybe I'll, maybe I'll just sleep. I think you can, yeah, <laughs> can jump off a, a height. Hot tourist destination, so it's not an achievement, it's a challenge, I guess. I'm not sure what the difference is, other than achievements light up in green. Oh, let's put some potatoes to cook here. Jumping on the bed. Should I use a campfire or should I use the I use the smoker. And the I'll put some logs to cook into charcoal. saplings are coming. Basically I want four in order to replant this tree. Hey, that was good timing. The fourth one just fell. Uh, it'd be kind of nice to wait around, but I'm not going to do that right now. I need to get some, I need to get some cobble going here. So probably I should just close out this episode and uh, do this offline or off camera. Maybe I'll just get started with it. Uh, I don't remember. There were some caves. There were some caves. Lots of caves. Okay, maybe this way. news that's gold which I don't have an iron pickaxe to, to dig that out so I'm just gonna go around it I guess I don't really want diorite or andesite right now which is all I've found so far oh yes cave 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 That's not going to work. Maybe I'll just 
make myself an iron pickaxe so I can at least harvest, dig out the gold ore if I find any. It's unusual to find gold at, at that depth, or I believe it is. I guess I could start using uh, diorite and such as as uh, material, but I was actually sort of thinking I might redo my dirt walls as diorite walls. 16, perfect. 16 gets you 64 torches. And the potatoes are done, so that's my food sorted out. And since I'm up here, oh, the tree grew already. Wow. Come pick up whatever fell down here. Sticks are good to have. Oh, the the copper weathering I think is complete. Very nice. Lovely green oxidized copper. I'm not sure if oxidized is the right term for copper, but anyway. Oh, I forgot to make I forgot to make an iron pickaxe. Darn it. Well, maybe I'll do just do that down here without going back up. That's two. So there's at least three iron here, yes. Actually, although iron is it's nice to find, it's not actually my goal here at the moment. So, five. Suboptimal fuel usage. Oh, I don't have a furnace down here either. Well, we can we can fix that easy enough. Oops, don't take your torches out. Let us build a furnace. And I don't have any charcoal anymore either. Wow, I'm just optimally planning my resource usage. make charcoal. Which we will then pop into the fuel spot and melt down some iron. Pickaxe inventory for going back to the nether. Make an iron pickaxe. There we go. Put it there. And go dig some more. How am I doing? 53 minutes. That's probably long enough. Because we're. This has been. Kind of interesting, I guess, in the way that we've seen some aspects of the nether that I don't think I had come across before in this game. A little bit, anyway. But Fortress Quest is not going well. That is a shame. So, I think what I'm going to do here is uh, save it here and wrap this episode up. That is episode 20. Oh my gosh, I can hardly remember what I've done. I guess I have the videos. I can go back and look. Thanks very much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you got some enjoyment out of that. I did, even though nothing too exciting happened. I do like playing that game. It's just something about it that uh, appeals to me. In any case, take good care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.